Welcome to Humphreys of Henley TV, countryside concierge at its finest. And we are in the heart of the Berkshire countryside today at the beautiful Highclere Castle. As you can see behind me, the sun is shining on this magnificent building uh, that was really, uh, the, the, what you see the exterior was designed and built uh, mainly in the uh, mid 19th century. We've also got a real treat because Lady Carnarvon has been kind enough to spend some time with us walking through the rooms, telling us some of the secrets and the history and the stories that make this building so magical. <laughs> so if we could just have a walk through, it would be lovely to hear be lovely to show you some of the rooms. A bit of the, a bit of the history and so on of, of the rooms after you. So this is the smoking room, I understand. It is. It wasn't actually ever shown on Downton Abbey because this is where we used to keep some of our more precious vases or right. works of art and furniture. But it's a lovely room, one of my husband's favourites. It's actually a brand new carpet. So from a woman's point of view, I think I'm oh, dead chuffed with it. Some yeah. of these things make me so happy. It's a, but in terms of the works of art on the wall, it's really a story about the Grand Tour of Europe with a wonderful painting above the fireplace from the 17th century, mm. a small Van Dyke, which was a, um, an early working for the big Van Dyke at Wilton, and some paintings in the style or of Canaletto. So it's a very lovely, peaceful room with not a yeah. huge amount of light, so very good late in the day, and nobody lovely. can see what's going on. And with on. a big log fire going too, it would be uh, absolutely wonderful. This, yeah. or the rooms are sort of on filar, but each one's a different set. And this is the drawing room, which is a wonderful room. It was, we use it as a family. It's also part of the tour when guests come here. And it was used quite a lot in Downton Abbey as, as a drawing room, which yeah. is what we use it as. It was actually decorated by Armina, yeah. my predecessor, the fifth countess. And she was here in, uh, she, was, she was here in 1895 when she, first married the fifth earl and her father gave her a bolt of green silk and from which she decorated the room and made the curtains oh so it's my a word. and is it almina that is reputedly um, the dowager is is based upon is that right not at all no oh, no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> almina was an amazing room I, I made, sorry almina was an amazing lady i wrote a book about her yeah. which has got sold around the world now actually and um, she lived here in the Edwardian times when there were 60 staff inside and 200 mm. outside and the house was really busy and full of people and house parties. She then took it into the First World War when she turned it into a hospital yeah. with an operating theatre and her contribution was the greatest because it was trying to heal people and make them well again and return sons, um, fathers, brothers to their families. Extraordinary. So that was an extraordinary part of the story. So this room is really still a tribute to her. And that the piano is from actually 1884. So it's quite an old Golly. piano. It's a beautiful Steinway. And do any members of the family play? Yes, yes. some of my sisters play quite well and I uh. play very badly. <laughs> and I haven't had enough time. But it is, I think, a family phone, a home with photographs do dotted everywhere. So. And that's one of the lovely things that we've seen, yes. This is one of my favourite rooms, smaller, golden, beautiful painted ceiling. And in the corner here, Napoleon's desk. So it's one of our most important um, works of art. And there's a little sketch of Napoleon standing by the chair you see beside him, yeah. um, beside the desk, Sam. And, um, and underneath the arm of the chair, it's got a C for consul, which means it was before 1804, oh, so before. about 1802. Yeah. And then uh, he became emperor. It would have had an I yes. at that point. So it was Jacob Frere, who made furniture both for the preceding king as well as Napoleon. So they oh. managed to... Um, he, he got that <laughs> he balance. Managed to balance it right. <laughs> that was quite an achievement quite back then. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful room. I hope you enjoy your visit to Highclere Castle as much as we have enjoyed ours this morning. We look forward to seeing you next week. 